If you use your arm and your remote for a while now, you may realize that from year to year, your battery life is shorter and shorter. Fortunately, we can replace the inside rechargeable battery. So first we have to open this part where we have the USB connection and you will have a sticker to remove where we will found underneath this little screw which is the only one on the surface of the remote. So take a Phillips screwdriver and remove that famous screw. Now come the hardest part of this battery replacement. You will have to open the remote and it is very well clip. So you will need a lever to do so. On that side, everything is fine. You can use your lever as much as you want. Always be careful, but you can use it as much as you want. But on the other side, there is a complication. Uh, if you see just right here, I broke my remote because of this thing, which is a cable that relate the touch panel to a processor inside the remote to receive those commands from the touch remote. So just right now, I just broke my remote because I cut this cable with my lever. So be careful on this side because, well, my remote is still functioning, but... Uh, the touch control doesn't work anymore and you need the touch control to start an activity. So my remote is not good anymore. And then anyway, next part, we have to unscrew that cage from the motherboard. There is four screw, one on each side and you will see the dummiest screw is the last one because she is screw on the card, which is weld on the motherboard. So, finally, you unscrew everything, but you won't be really able to remove the cage fully. So, you see that one? You unscrew it, but you see on the left, it's, it, it's weld on the main board. So, well, you will have to lift the, the cage, but not too much, because you have to be careful not to broke the weld edge of the little card on the main board. And the battery is thick with a double facing tape on the cage. So, well, be careful. Just, just be careful. You have to use a lever to remove all of the sticky thing that they put between the battery and the cage. And yeah, not lift it too much. Be careful, but you can do it. I didn't broke anything on that part. So here is the battery that was inside my remote. Uh, I will leave you a link in the description if you want to order uh, a replacement battery, an equivalent of this battery. But please just check if we have the same stats before to order a new battery. Uh, you need to have the exact same voltage and about the same milliamp powers. If you don't, well, it may not work and you may even more worse damage your remote. But the one that I put in the description was the one that was uh, good for my remote. So after that, put the battery back in the cage. Screw everything back. We have four screw, remember? We can now reconnect the battery and pay attention, the black cable is on the outside. Before to reclose everything, press and hold the off button to power on the remote. Yeah, that doesn't make sense, but yeah, if you 
hold on on the power off button it will reboot your remote that is just to see if you reconnect everything fine it open it's fine uh, make sure you don't have any cable that will uh, avoid you to uh, reclose your remote like those red cable now slide the top of the remote inside the top of the cover and reclose everything now it's really more easy you just have to press and everything will clip back in place Finally, we can put that first screw in place. Tighten it quite hard. Reclose the cover and you're ready to use your remote. So this is it. Thank you for watching. I hope it helps. If yes, please make a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please ask in the comment below. I may simply answer you or even maybe make a video just for you. So don't forget to subscribe and what you do see back there it's from my main channel. So please come take a look at this right there. Thank you for watching again. See ya!